is um, our cloud strategy, um, where we recently announced uh, being known as our brand and one single portfolio across um, HP um, for our customers. Um, now, we, we've had great product offerings um, for cloud, uh, such as Cloud System, uh, which is our flagship platform that customers have been leveraging as an integrated solution for building private cloud and some service providers and government have also used it to be um, a service provider, uh, public cloud platforms, uh, virtual cloud cloud. Uh, we have a, a very rich market leading automation and orchestration software uh, such as a cloud service automation mm -hmm. and um, um, an end-to-end -end portfolio of professional services which helps customers do application transformation, uh, design, plan, design, implementation of, of uh, cloud platforms. Mm -hmm. So all these uh, different offerings of uh, HP's cloud um, is now part of the Helion portfolio. Uh, Helion is a brand, but it's also a portfolio, and it's a set of design tools that enables uh, our customers to really uh, design the cloud services um, in different delivery models of cloud, whether it's you know, private, public, virtual mm -hmm. cloud. Um, and the addition that we have made uh, to the Helion portfolio is our OpenStack offerings. Yeah. Um, uh, so this year we also um, announced uh, a new set of offerings um, which are OpenStack based, uh, such as the HPP one OpenStack, um, which is an enterprise uh, class inside the platform to build your um, cloud architecture, and cloud services, um, Helion development platform, which is again an OpenStack class platform, so you can more rapidly um, develop applications and bring those to, mm -hmm. to your lines of business or service provider to monetize those. Um, but you also announced, uh, I think you recently announced uh, um, Helion for by Cloud Foundry or on Cloud Foundry? Yeah, so that's the Helion development platform which is based on Cloud Foundry. Mm -hmm. um, and we have the um, versions which you can also for both the Helion OpenStack and Helion development platform. You could download the a version of the website which is free downloadables um, uh, and, and that's more suitable for POCs or a 30 node uh, deployment uh, mm -hmm. for the enterprise version of HP Helion OpenStack and Developer Platform which is what we sell okay. uh, to our enterprise customers at the right price and licensing. Mm -hmm. So the whole idea is to bring service innovation to customers, um, enable rapid application development and uh, the right economics uh, Cloud. Mm -hmm. uh, so customers now have the choice of either going completely open stack or using some of our integrated solution platforms like Cloud System. Mm -hmm. And um, even Cloud System is integrated with OpenStack. So as you deploy a Cloud System and you want to go into uh, an OpenStack approach or you have uh, such an open source based uh, Cloud platforms, you can always connect them mm -hmm. uh, so that it's all internal. I see. Um, could you talk about uh, the rate of adoption for HP Helion? HP Helion, so we, we have been market leaders in uh, cloud system. Uh, if you look at uh, the Forrester report that talks about private cloud leadership, then we call out HP as the leader in private cloud. So we have done very well in terms of enterprise private cloud um, adoption and specifically in the Asia Pacific market. Uh, we have uh, more than uh, 500 customers with our cloud system. Um, and we have some key service providers in the industry as well, such as Hong Kong Telecom and uh, Nextra, which is a digital uh, cloud company, um, and, and more uh, service providers like GMO in Japan and so forth, uh, who have adopted our cloud system as the platform to design mm -hmm. uh, uh, cloud uh, services. Um, but as we bring OpenStack, you'll see the adoption also increase. Um, as it enables a lot of customers to take an open architecture and uh, drive a lot of innovation around the cloud, so that that's where we are focused. Mm -hmm. uh, so we will see uh, adoption really scale in the enterprise because the enterprise so far hasn't really um, gone into 
cloud as you know the notion of cloud has been more public cloud it's not secure and um, uh, it's more for scale out um, and it's proprietary etc um, and so they have you know they've gone with private cloud but not necessarily a hybrid cloud okay. and I think the adoption will now really scale around hybrid um, so it's all about the workload strategy that enterprise customers will adopt and mm. based on the workloads, do you deploy it um, on-premise as private cloud or you put it uh, uh, in the public cloud mm. uh, with the same level of security and, and management and orchestration will be key. Um, so, so that hybrid approach uh, around a workload-based strategy uh, with an open architecture and secure uh, platform is what will accelerate uh, adoption of cloud. I see. Can you can you share a, a sneak peek of like what HP Hidden has for in the future? Um, we are doing several things. Uh, we we are building a Helion network, uh, which is a cloud marketplace. We expect this to be the largest uh, cloud marketplace in the industry, and this brings together the leading service providers, ISVs, channel partners, and the system integrators as well as technology vendors who will drive leadership uh, in terms of uh, uh, breakthrough technology like uh, Intel uh, to, to really um, bring more services, cloud services to customers. Um, some of these service providers will sit in the board of Helion Network and is really uh, driven by them um, around the policies of how we operate in, in the countries. Um, and what offerings we have in pricing, etc. And it will enable them to collaborate with an open uh, openness in that network and it's all based on open standards and open architecture to also create interoperability. Uh, we will also uh, provide identification to customers and the members to innovate with open standards in that human network, so which is a big deal for, uh, for the open source uh, uh, users. Um, and, and it will enable in um, the monetization of cloud uh, services uh, through this uh, network of service providers. I see. And as I talk more and more to service providers, we're really excited in terms of the collaborative nature of this uh, uh, platform. Um, and it drives more coverage. Um, and, and the great thing is that it also addresses the um, data regulation and sovereignty issues uh, where if you have some different service providers in the country as part of the network, then customers can choose to uh, put data local uh, with one of the service providers in the country and then another service provider of the same network uh, for another country where they don't want the data to, to sort of uh, mm -hmm. flow across okay. the country. So that's just one of the initiatives. Uh, we just announced Eucalyptus. Um, which, uh, which is a great uh, you know, addition to HP's portfolio. Uh, they have innovated uh, a lot in OpenStack. Um, um, we talked about the um, Amazon APIs that they have, so I mean, that would help us really um, do more in terms of interoperability of workflows. Okay, well, thank you very much, Ahmad. Thank you for your time. Was that okay? Yes. Lo uh,